Nemzi said, What would the game look like now if they had iterated more on class artifact weapons slash legion legendaries rather than trying these other systems? It would have looked better. I dare I say it, it would have looked good. Dare I say it, it would have looked great. Nah. <laughs> nah. Nah, not going to go quite that far yet. Um, but no, I pr honestly, probably. It's a case of if 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 they just did what worked. If, um, like, it's kind of imagining all those all that time. All those developer are sat in a corner going, how do we make this work? If it was instead, well, I don't have to think about that anymore. I can just do. Yeah. And then it's done. Sorted. Big yeah, sorted. Like. Um, yeah, man, it's like... Like, it doesn't literally have to be a weapon. It doesn't have to be a weapon. And it, it, it's just a thing of... It just needs to be something that accomplishes those goals. Has a... People having audio issues here? Are they? Head, uh, headphones here. Ouch. And my ears are in chat. Ah. Louder? Hmm. Did I make a surprisingly loud noise? Uh, I might have made a surprisingly loud oh, noise. Oh, you moved the mic a lot whenever you shouted a grit. I think you may have you may have hit Sorry. something. Sorry. Um, Sorry about that, everyone. Okay, yes, right. I mean, I don't know how to do it, because undoubtedly, if it's not a big weapon that is in your hand, it won't feel as good. Because that, that was the big strength. Like, you have the fucking Ashbringer. But I do think that if they gave us something... Just on the on the core of our character somehow, and you know it, it doesn't need to to be an artifact weapon or something. It, it just like literally duplicate the artifact progression, make it work so that it doesn't feel bad for multi specking. Keep it simple, done. However, they would have to contend with the whole uh, you know the whole issue of borrowed power because if that involves a big reset, feels really bad, and you earning shit that you you know. That that's going to feel bad. Yeah, well, um, but certainly I would say that their their uh, <laughs> what what they did in BFA was a awful advancement. They went in the other direction. They basically it's like they completely misunderstood mm -hmm. how their systems worked, uh, and uh, it was obviously a failure. And then in Shadowlands they tried to do it with Covenants. I think because they probably felt that the Heart of Azeroth was just a little knack piece, so it wasn't a good enough fantasy, but maybe a Covenant is a fantasy that's strong enough for players to latch onto. But ultimately, that, of course, has not worked out that well either. Yeah, so it's like they've been iterating and iterating and iterating and trying, you know, and there's new thing, new thing, new thing, but they've went nowhere fast. They've kind of like, it's as if they've thrown out their thing and then tried it again. That's, like, th that is fundamentally, like, my it. issue with... I feel like I have that issue with not even just World of Warcraft, but I feel like I have that issue with so much of video games in general, and maybe not even always video games, but even like movies and TV, mm. where they like things just keep being thrown out and tried again, throw it, tried again, throw yeah. it out, tried again. You're like, yeah, but you're not you're not trying it again. You're trying something new. How about focus? How about simplify and iterate? Why do you not just go, oh, artifact weapon? Well. How do we do this again? And then they went drastically different in a different direction. Instead of going, okay, this works. What if we take 5% off and try a different 5%? Same with Legion Legendaries. Yeah. Why are we two expansions later making a system that feels worse than Legion Legendaries in a couple of ways? Good fucking question. <laughs> so if they iterated on Legion Legendaries instead of going, we'll try Legendaries again. It's like, no, try Legion Legendaries, but better. You know mm. what? No. Give us Legion Legendaries in their 7.3 form and tone down a little bit because obviously we were kind of par fantasy up the wazoo at the at 7.3. Yeah. But it's just that case of stop. Stop. You like, you're, you're throwing out loads of babies with all this bathwater. And you're also just like, you're wasting so much time designing the, like, you're designing 100% of a system. 30% of the system is wrong. So you're designing 100%. You're, you've designed 300% of system. <laughs> when realistically, you had to remove 30% and design it again. You could have gotten, you know, you could have gotten here with half the work. Yeah. If you just didn't go, well, we'll try everything fresh. And, and like, if, if we're to assume that Legion Legos, we were doing it on gear. Yeah. All they had to do is fix acquisition. 
Yeah. Because pe- people need to remember, and I would actually say, so we have to basically earn the higher item level of our legendaries that we have in patch 9.1 by grinding soul cinders. Yeah. Now there was a similar system in Legion to get your previous patch created Legos up to the f- higher item level. Yep. But it was quite easy. It was very easy in fact. And any newly found legendaries in that patch would be at the highest item level for that patch. So it was basically just a way of, you know, bring your old Legos up to speed any new ones you get are at the max item level. Yep. You could literally just have it so you acquire legendaries and they are always at the, you know, super high item level for the season you're in. Just that. Call it a day. Yeah. Done. Easy. Sort Done. Of. And then Torghast would be free to be Torghast. It could be really cool. Really fun. Yeah. I mean, oh man, I've... Oh, I would... <laughs> Never mind. It's like a ping pong yeah. around my head. I yeah, I mean, like, like th- that's, that's the entire point I have with all of development. They just keep, like, why... Stop trying new things. Try old things, but good. You don't need to, you, like, an expansion shouldn't be entirely new. It's an expansion. We just, instead of, like, why did we have to, th- why did I have to give all my Ashbringer energy to a big sword that still hasn't been followed up on? And then leave, like, did I leave the Ashbringer lying in the dust? You know, it's in my bank. Because I might, <laughs> I might want it for time walking at some point, but, like, it's just, it's just there. Why, like, I can, I can see all the... Like, I can immediately see all the reasons why you wouldn't want to keep a weapon from expansion to expansion and stuff like that. But, like, why did we have to throw out all that stuff and then give it yeah. to me kind of baseline in a weird way, way that doesn't feel proper? Instead of, if I had, like, if my paladin had actually, you know, even if we're discarding the Ashbringer, some of its essence is saved. Like, even that, if some of the Legion legendary, or sorry, the Legion artifact weapon, if some of his energy was saved in a ring or a necklace like the Heart of Azeroth, then you could transfer gear sets pretty handily, keep that as a thing in lore really nicely. You can just give people like catch-ups, whatever, it's yeah. fine. Make it completely normal, just like, you know, he, some narrative framing of, you know, this is the essence of heroes like you. You know, it was around heroes like you. Is this useful? There you go. Almost like job crystals in FF in a sense. Where it's kind of the inherited knowledge of like uh, Just people of that job. A video idea. One second. Yeah, go for it. But it's like the the collected knowledge of heroes or people of that job is kind of what a job crystal is. You could do largely the same thing and just go, well, what if I transfer some of the essence of the Ashbringer to a different bit of gear, or specifically learn it, transfer it into you know the character itself, and then you've got this narrative framing for why, you know, as an example. I mean, they didn't keep it, but as an example, the. Well, yeah, I guess the, like, Wake of Ashes and Wake of Ashes Holy Power Generation and stuff. Like, the, the, all you have to do is a nice little bit of narrative framing so it feels like my Paladin character is carrying around the essence of the Ashbringer instead of it being just a talent that they could take away at any point in time or remove or balance or whatever else or sometimes isn't optimal. And then, obviously, you know, that was that was in BFA and they gave it to us baseline now. But it's like a little bit of narrative framing for that would go such such a huge like way and then it would feel like we're expanding going forward and we're learning from our stuff and it's like they don't let that happen because they're too busy sitting thinking about what if a new character starts in Shadowlands and they don't have any of that experience you're like well that's not the average player <laughs> if you if, if like especially if, if you're worried about new players you can actually let them hit this ex- hit this experience and emulate what a, what one of the heroes did in terms of like emulate what like uh, you know like I said about here's the essence of the Ashbringer a pal a great pal that came before you mm. you know they're off doing other things now but this has been entrusted and this just needs to be a bit of dialogue with like some paladin person yeah. it's all that needs to be and just let let new players imagine all the heroism they get up to. Yeah. Or emulate the heroism of what he came before. That kind of stuff. And then you've got this narrative framing that works for kind of filling with power power. And also just like not, you Some know. happy people in chat. Just not wrecking things. Happy, like, you say? Yeah. yeah. As in, <laughs> preach, Matt. Preach. Let the word of the Lord flow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it, it, I think he might like your idea. Yeah. No, it's just like that's that's kind of it. It's just have have a narrative framing for us to feel like we're expanding instead of it being, you know, instead of us being right, we've been chopped up. What way have they re- rearranged us for the next expansion? Yeah, yeah that's it. That is it, Man. indeed. 